Hi again everybody and welcome back to the second channel, Living Life in a Quote. But in today's video, I wanted to do more of the usual thing, just looking at the most cursed things we can find on the internet, this time cursed comments that people leave under things. And this time we have all the cursed shit aggregated into one convenient subreddit for us, r slash cursed comments. Essentially, somebody makes a kind of average or sometimes even wholesome meme, though sometimes the meme itself is also cursed. But regardless of what is happening in that source material, that's not the important part. Whatever is happening in that post is just made infinitely worse by what some fate changer decided they had to say in response to it in the comments. Hence making it even more cursed, hence the term cursed comments. So without further ado, let's get into this horse crappity crap. A scan of a thousand-year-old Buddha statue revealed the body of a monk hidden inside. Winner of the hide-and-seek competition 1019. This was the original inspiration behind the movie Tag, where Jeremy Renner just doesn't get fucking tagged ever. Sleep. Sly bitch thinks just because he's Hawkeye and do flips and shit, he's not cool. He's not cool at all. So I downloaded this app called Be My Eyes a while ago. You get FaceTime calls from blind people all over the world and help them with whatever task it is that they need help with. I just got my first call and helped this lady pick out almond milk. Something so small made her day. Spidey IRL adds, Yo, have I finished wiping? Eh, ah, yeah, that's fucking cars though, right? You just, um, can't really argue with that moniker. Steven at L's move though, you've done a good thing on this day. You've helped the lady find her almond milk. And Spidey IRL helps someone finish going to the bathroom. <laughs> Mails of Reddit, when was the absolute worst time you had a boner? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, this one just kind of, oh my God. Holding a weeping woman who I was coming to realize I was in love with during a funeral wake. I moved her to my side, but I think she knew. Mm, morning wood. Ugh. Father of 10 kids. That's why his puns are so odd fucking point. That's cold, dude. Shit. That's, ac that's actually kind of depressing. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't come here to be sad. I came here to laugh. My girlfriend works in a sushi restaurant. She's pretty, says Anonymous. Like, honestly, though, imagine if you had, like, a spider for a girlfriend and she just had, like, six arms and two legs. If you do have that, though, is your girlfriend a spider or an octopus? Leave your answer in the comments below. What's the difference between a child and a hooker? I don't know. Wow, you sick freak! What? What a mess this exchange of text messages was. How does it even get to this point? Sent at 9.31 p.m. Six is like the magic number. Six foot, six pack, six inches. Six years old. Oh, no r slash cursed comments. Include me in the screenshot. Include me too, but censor the above comment, just username. I like you, Technical G. You're dictating the fate of the initial person who asked to be included. Fucking playing God. It's gonna come to bite you in the ass, but for now, enjoy it. Guys, I think my parents are doing the forbidden in the room next to me. Bust through the door and yell, player three has joined the game. Don't do that, that's a bad idea. You know why? You know why? Because your parents grew up in an age where there was only two player games, so they're not gonna understand what player three is. Come on, guys. When you're making jokes, you have to keep in mind what your audience is, guys. Come on! This is 101! Pikachu choo train, choo choo train, it's a choo choo train, Pikachu choo train, choo choo! That's fucking stupid. Where's it going? Straight to hell. I swear to God, every fucking website has its own little fucking shit posting Pikachu. Tumblr has Pookicho, who is funny as shit. Uh, Twitter also has Pookicho, but mostly chain body. It also has r slash Pookicho, which is also just a repost of Pookicho Tumblr posts. If you spank your girl while you're also choking her, it takes a screenshot. <laughs> if you hold her throat button down for a while, she shuts off completely. <laughs> I've heard this also works if you push into the eyes hard enough. When you're laying down and your pet walks across your internal organs and you're like, ow, fuck, and they don't even care. They just keep standing on your spleen like it's their job. This is why I keep my skin closed at all time. You, you what? Zipper sound. Before you say this is proof that there are other living clothes in the world, this guy's a faker. He's just a faker on the internet. This is physical footage proof that I am a floating hoodie right here. So don't you try and use this. Alexa, what's the maximum diameter a human asshole can stretch? 4.5 to 5.5 inches. Alexa, what's the diameter of an Amazon Echo? I'm gonna stick it up my ass, open my mouth, and let the music course through my body and out my mouth so I can become a human speaker. Reminds me of the rumors back in the day when like, where you could stick earbuds up your nose and then open your mouth and you'd be a speaker. That shit was fake! Everybody who said that, liars! Can't believe I let them fool me like that. I was played. Please do not flush anything other than bathroom tissue. Thank you. Carefully puts turd in pocket. I mean, yeah, the poo's the easy one. You can, it's a solid. You can pick it up and put it somewhere else. 
The pee's the hard one though. What do they expect? For you to just keep a container on you? No. Frantically chopping up Harry Potter's dead body into a blender, Hagrid pours the remains in a DQ cup. You're a blizzard, Harry, he whispers. You can imagine Harry would be like a winter seasonal exclusive item. When you finger a girl from Colombia. You should have tried it before she was cremated. Yep, okay, okay. Nothing to add there. Just gonna move on and pretend I didn't see it. Found at an amusement park. This is just a picture of Endgame taken from Ant-Man's point of view. Uh, no. I'm sorry, buddy, but that doesn't happen in the actual movie. That was just a meme in April, and you suggesting it actually happened is just not true, okay, bro? You're not fooling anyone, okay, dude? Okay, like, stop. Stop it, dude. Bro one. I gotta pee, bro. Bro two. Just pee anywhere, bro. The world is your toilet. Bro one pees in bro two's mouth. Bro two. Bro, what the fuck? Bro one. You're my world, bro. Bro two. Bro. Honestly, this really isn't that specific either. Like, do you not pee in your bro's mouth when you have to go? <laughs> Watch, mother shaves daughter's head after she bullies girl with cancer. Because that's what heroes do. Things were getting a little wild in Caillou's house. St. Nicholas Catholic Church. Suspect your son might be gay? Schedule a private counseling session with the priest. <laughs> ah, he'll give him a few tips. <sighs> oh. oh, deep breaths, deep breaths. Oh. That's just me avoiding my daily heart attack, as you do. You can teleport anywhere as long as you've taken a shit there. Teleports to your bed. The logistics of the superpower are really interesting because like, do you have to physically have taken a shit there or is it wherever your shit has been? Because like, your shit's gonna be in a lot of places. If you've pooped in New York, you can probably to go anywhere in the damn city then because it's gonna be everywhere, dude. Do babies grow on their own or do we need to interact with them? I forgot to look at the group name and I was genuinely concerned, lol. The group name kind of clears up the whole suspiciously specific part. I'm glad to see that Deku is a responsible father though who's looking out for his kids and also others. I can't can't express how much I hate fucking bees. Then stop fucking bees? It's a really simple solution. You know what I meant. Not after the bee movie we don't. I saw a video on my recommended the other day of a real lawyer examining the court case from in the bee movie. I didn't watch it, but I assume that I will at some point in my life because it's inevitable. I think that's just kind of where I'm on track to go with the rest of my existence. Did you know? Blood you've donated could be in someone's boner right now. And that boner could be in you. Blood came home. As they say, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back to you, then it's yours. The right way, where you put the fucking milk first, you disgusting son of a bitch. You wipe your ass before you take a shit as well, don't you? Bruh, just eat the toilet paper so it wipes you on the way out. It's kind of genius, you can't lie. The anonymous commenter here is literally an innovator. Like, I don't know why you're hating on him for it. Why are you booing me? I'm right. One time I invited this girl over and we got high and I sat down and explained the entire plot line of Skyrim to her for 45 minutes and she still had sex with me. It was unbelievable. Hey, you, you're finally awake. Got caught trying to cross the border, didn't you? The border being asking for a consent. Not okay, don't fuck, no. Oh god, I just, that's, that's too much for me, dude. I gotta stop here, dude, I'm about to die! Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like if you did, and subscribe to the second channel if you're new. I'm trying to get this channel a little up and running, so it would be much appreciated. Anyways, this has been Quiet, and I will see you guys next time. Get out of here, you skedaddlers!